brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Google Chrome and the Microsoft Edge web browser, as I have been posting on over the last couple of months, according to recent surveys, are your most used web browsers for desktop. Google Chrome being number one and Edge in second place being the second most used web browser for desktop. Now, if you are using Edge for desktop, um, just a quick video to show you how you can view your download history in the browser and how you can clear and remove your downloads and your download history in case you are unaware. Now, unlike Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge works a little bit differently when it comes to your downloads. Google Chrome, um, if you head to your menu in the top right and you click on downloads, that will open up the actual downloads page where you can manage your downloads and so on. Now, with Microsoft Edge, in case you're unaware, it works a little bit differently. So if we head to the three dotted menu and we click on downloads, that will actually open up the drop down fly out menu or the downloads bubble and hub as it's also known where you can actually see the different downloads that are listed. And another way you can actually access this uh, download bubble and hub is if you just head to your three dotted menu once again, head to settings, head over to appearance, you can actually enable it like I have by default as a permanent quick launch button in the toolbar. And um, yeah, you'll see downloads bubble. So if I toggle that off, it removes that. And if I toggle that back on, it also places it back in the toolbar. And even if it's toggled off, if I head to the menu and I click on downloads, it will still show that bubble. But if you want it there permanently, you can just enable it as shown. Now, just to go through um, a couple of different options regarding your downloads. Yeah, you can see you can actually open up your downloads folder. So here are two images I just um, downloaded quickly for the purpose of today's video. So that will take you directly to the download location of your downloads. Um, you can search uh, your downloads and you can also pin that as a side panel um, in the browser. So that will just work in the side panel and then you can unpin that. And if you want to delete your downloads and clear your downloads and remove them, it's quite simple. Um, you can just click on the trash bin and there you can see it's removed it, removed it. And if I head back to my download location, you will see now that it has actually deleted those files permanently and pop them into my recycle bin. And if we head back to the downloads bubble, this time I'm gonna to go to the menu. We can click on the three dotted menu. And yeah, we have some other options, open downloads page, um, download settings and clear all download history. So you'll see now that I still have that history in my downloads hub. So if I head back and I click on clear all download history, remove all, you can see now that it has actually removed the history from my downloads and actually has deleted um, those downloads from my actual um, my local drive and my download location. So that's just a couple of ways um, you can view and clear and remove your download history in the Edge web browser for desktop. And uh, that's, of course, if you just don't want the clutter, free up some hard drive space and also for privacy reasons. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.